Hi, I'm Shelley with Workforce Solutions Texoma. We are providing you with several online tools to help you in your journey. Whether you're looking for a new job, a new career, or just seeing what's out there, we're here to help. We hope you enjoy this video and that it provides you with some helpful information. Work Opportunity Tax Credit for Employers. The Work Opportunity Tax Credit, or WOTC, is a federal income tax benefit administered by the U.S. Department of Labor, or DOL, for employers who hire individuals from specific target populations. Work Opportunity Tax Credit reduces a business's federal tax liability, serving as an incentive for employers to select job candidates who may be facing significant barriers to employment. The Work Opportunity Tax Credit Objectives Work Opportunity Tax Credit helps individuals to become employed, earn a steady income, become contributing taxpayers. Work Opportunity Tax Credit joins other workforce programs that help provide incentives for workplace diversity and improve access to good jobs for American workers. Qualifying for Work Opportunity Tax Credit Employers are eligible for a tax credit when hiring individuals with specified barriers to employment in federally identified target groups. Employers must obtain documentation showing an individual is a member of an allowable target group. This documentation is sent with the employer's application for the Work Opportunity Tax Credit to the Texas Workforce Commission, who will verify the individual belongs to the target group. Tax credits currently are available for hires if they belong to one of the following target groups. Veterans Target Group. Disabled veterans with a service-connected disability who have been unemployed for at least six months, the maximum tax credit could be $9,600. Veterans who have been unemployed for at least six months, maximum credit, $5,600. Disabled veterans with a service-connected disability, maximum credit, $4,800. Veterans receiving Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP benefits, for at least three months during the first 15 months of employment, maximum credit, $2,400. Veterans who have been unemployed for at least four weeks, maximum credit, $2,400. Non-Veterans Target Groups long-term family assistance recipients who are members of a family that has received temporary assistance for needy families or TANF benefits for at least 18 consecutive months maximum credit of $9,000 TANF recipients maximum credit $2,400 ex-felons hired within a year of being convicted of a felony or being released from prison for a felony conviction maximum credit $2,400 Vocation Rehabilitation Referrals, maximum of $2,400. SNAP recipients received SNAP for the previous six-month period or at least three of the previous five months, maximum $2,400 credit. Supplemental Security Income or SSI recipients, also a maximum credit of $2,400. Long-term unemployment recipients, that have been unemployed for not less than 27 consecutive weeks at time of hiring and received unemployment compensation during some of all of that period. Maximum credit of $1,200. Calculating the tax credit. The tax credit amount under the Work Opportunity Tax Credit Program depends on employee retention. For most target groups, Work Opportunity Tax Credit is based on qualified wages paid to the employee for the first year of employment. For profit employers, it's 25% of qualified first year wages for those employed at least 120 hours, but fewer than 400 hours, or 40% of those employed 400 hours or more. Nonprofit employers, 16.25% of qualified first year wages for those employed 120 hours, but fewer than 400 hours, 26% for those employed 400 hours or more, for long-term family assistance recipients, Work Opportunity Tax Credit is based on a two-year retention period. Applying for Work Opportunity Tax Credit. Within 28 days of the employee's start date, employers hiring individuals from one or more of the identified target groups must complete the following. The IRS Form 8850, it's a pre-screening notice and certification request for the Work Opportunity Tax Credit, can be found at irs.gov. ETA Form 9061, it is the Individual Characteristics Form. It can be found at doleta.gov. 
www.gov.gov. Texoma Workforce Solutions staff can provide assistance in completing these forms. You may mail, fax, or email forms to Texas Workforce Commission, WOTC Unit, 101 East 15th Street, Room 202T, Austin, Texas, 78778-0001. The fax number is 512-463-8819 or email at wotc at twc.state.tx.us. If you are filing the forms by email, the attached forms must be password protected and the password must be sent in a separate email to the same email address. Employers and consultants submitting forms by fax or email will be required to maintain the original forms for the required retention period. For certifications, four years, for denials, one year. Requesting a claim reconsideration. When a work opportunity tax credit application is denied, if the employer has documentation to indicate that the application was eligible for certification, the employer may request that the claim be reconsidered for a specific target group. To request a claim reconsideration, documentation as noted on the following slides must be sent to the Texas Workforce Commission, TWC, along with the Work Opportunity Tax Claim control number listed on the denial letter or the denial report. Reconsideration requests must be submitted within the one-year required retention period for denials based on original data. Documentation for requesting a claim reconsideration. Veteran target groups includes disabled veteran and unemployed veteran, applicants DD-214 or their record of military service, rating letter provides service-connected disability rating required for disabled veterans, no unemployment documentation is necessary. TWC's Work Opportunity Tax Credit Unit will verify the unemployment requirements for disabled veterans and unemployed veterans. Ex-felon, court documentation indicating felony conviction or in a federal conviction, parole or probation officer information including name and phone number. Designated community residence, documentation to verify address such as a current utility bill, telephone bill or driver's license indicated on IRS Form 8850. Vocation Rehabilitation. Individual Plan for Employment or their IPE documentation indicating open date, close date, and or last date of service. Vocational Counselor information including name and phone number. Long-term unemployment benefits. Submission of ETA Form 9175 long-term unemployment recipient self-attestation form, work opportunity tax credit program. Out-of-state benefits. If there is information showing the applicant received TANF, supplemental security income, SNAP benefits, or unemployment benefits from another state, the name of the other state will need to be provided and the Texas Work Opportunity Tax Credit Unit will submit an out-of-state request to the indicated state. Mail request for claim reconsideration and supporting documentation to Texas Workforce Commission, attention, WOTC Unit, 101 East 15th Street, room 202T, Austin, Texas, 78778. Responding to needs request. When an incomplete work opportunity tax credit application is submitted by the employer, TWC's work opportunity tax credit unit will send and needs request letter to the employer. The employer must respond within 60 days or the application will be closed. For forms and additional information, the IRS Form 8850, pre-screening notice and certification request for the Work Opportunity Tax Credit at irs.gov, the ETA Form 9061, the Individual Characteristics Form can be found at dol.gov, TWC's Work Opportunity Tax Credit Guidance can be found at twc.texas.gov. The IRS Work Opportunity Tax Credit Guidance can be found at irs.gov. Thank you for watching the video. For more informational videos like this one, visit WorkforceSolutionsTexoma.com. Don't be afraid to contact us if you would like additional assistance to achieve your goals. 
Thank you for watching.